So what's up? My name is Kathleen Dayo and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel after you watch the video. Sana matapos nyo itong video na to. So, yun. So, first, first, what, I, what is the topic all about? Multimedia arts? Yes, it's multimedia arts time, guys. So, we're talking about the course multimedia arts. So, yun. So, where schools, kung alam nyo na multimedia arts, at saan school naman ang pagdidesisyon na nyo? So, this is this video will talk about sa akin mga aral school. So number one, uh, we're going to go to SER Manila. So first is a QC, Quezon City. So sa school, a uh, meron po tayo mga arts sa Quezon City. So first is the CIIT. So therefore, this is the Cosmo Point. Cosmo Point, Cosmo Point School. So, yun. Cosmo Point School, no, 2007, 2, 2007, yata, 2007 to 2013. So, no, 2014 and above, naging CIIT na siya. So, yun. So, yung facilities naman niya, I can say it's maganda. Kasi, they're, they're before in Tibog Avenue. When I went there, no, Tibog, medyo malate pa siya. Pero, no, nakita ko yung kamuning campus nila. Ang ganda! Parang, ba, dali ba din yung bago ka? Ah, kasi isang building yun, tapos 8 floors. 8 floors kung tama ako. I'm not sure. Pero, yun, 8 floors. Ang ganda ng facilities niya. Ang dami niyang bago. Parang siyang na-renovate. Na dahil doon yun, sa CIT, sa Cosmo Point, nakaipon sila doon ng, ano, ng, sa mga students nila. Doon sila nakapag-ipon ng, ano. Kasi, na-renovate na sila sa rinig building na yun, sa Timok Avenue. And I can say that, Facilities is superb. The props, it's okay. Pwede na yun. At matututo ka. Kasi yun dami nag sa CIIT. So, sa Quezon City. So, how much is the tuition fee in CIIT? So, that's the number one multimedia school in Quezon City. So, first is, it's 60,000 per sem. I'm, this is my research price, ha? I'm not sure kung ano year to. So, this is the 60,000 per sem. It's 60,000 per sem. This is CIIT. So, yun ang kapo sa Quezon City. Proceed naman tayo sa Makati. Makati kasi is an industrial area. So, marami siyang may, marami kang makikita multimedia arts schools. So, um, lahat ng sinasabi ko is bachelor's degree. Walang short degrees dito. So, only bachelor's degrees. So, saan multimedia school meron sa Makati? So, syempre, first is sa I Academy. So, the ranging, ano, maganda rin na facilities niya. As you can see naman, kung magsisearch sa website nila, meron sila Nexus Building, and meron sila yung main building. So, Nexus, bu <coughs> Nexus Building is in Senior High School for Senior High School, and the main building is for college students. So, makikita mo naman sa Buendia, ang ganda location niya, nasa cent center of the Makati talaga siya, and the, ano, the, ang facilities nila, ang ganda rin. Para high-tech na, para si IIT, the same with them. So, ang I Academy, kasi for senior high school nila, is like 120,000 per year. Pero na yun, I, I'm, I think it's 70 to 80,000 per sem. Yan ang hula ko. Eh, I'm not sure talaga. Na-research ko lang siya before. Next is, if you're budgeted lang talaga, at you wanted to study a school with a budget, so I, I prefer University of Makati. It, University of Makati is owned by Abby Binay. She is the chairperson of University of Makati. So sa Yuma, uh, my classmate is from Yuma. And her review naman na, maganda naman sa Yuma. Um, may, uh, may, may, ano sila, outfit sila, may green field. So yun, maganda. Ang laki na Yuma, as you can see. As per kwento niya, sabi niya. And Yuma kasi, sa Sierra High School, public siya. Kaya wala siyang expected, expected na parang PUP siya. Sabihin natin gano'n. And pero, the the nicest thing here is muna lang siya. You see, ang major nila is the multimedia arts major in film and video. And the second one is <laughs> Okay, ulit. And first one is the Multimedia Arts, Major in Film and Video, and the second one is Multimedia Arts and 
major in animation. So, pwede ka lang kayo sa dalawa ko, film and video and animation. So, how much pala ang tuition fee sa Yuma? This is one of the best and budgeted schools. Magigani yung mga multimedia artists dito, promise. Masasabi ko sa inyo. Lahat ng classmate ng kaibigan ko, nag-proceed nag sila sa Yuma at nag-ano ng multimedia arts. Maganda daw ang sabi nila. So, na, ang Yuma price is for, for, ano tawag dito, for Makati citizens, it's free. But if you're from Quezon City, Navotas, Mandaluyo, Pasig, or whatever, the tuition fee here is 24,000%. So, maganda siya. It's cheap, di ba? 24K tuition, di ba? Multimedia art student, di ba? So, next is uh, Asian Pacific College. So, the history muna to. History of Asian Pacific College is owned, it is, is owned by SM. If you know Sen SM, ha, the small, of course, everyone knows that. And the National University, there are sisters or partners, partner schools. So, dito, ang Asia Pacific College is more than, um, best, nila, best courses nila dito is multimedia arts. So, as you can see, yung multimedia arts, multimedia arts, it, it's, it costs like, Tawag dito, mahal. Pero dito, is 70k per cent. That's what I know, ha. Ah. I'm not sure 60 to 70k, but it's owned by SM. Maganda siya. At marami ang kakalala dito na graphic designers na dito sa Asia Pacific College. And magaganda yung design. So, if sabi, magaganda yung mga, ano dito, mga facility sila or yung turo daw nila, sabi ng mga ano. So, next is sa Pasig naman tayo pupunta. So, if going to Pasig, we have two colleges doon na meron. So, first is the budgeted muna tayo. So, doon tayo sa budgeted. So, the budgeted is the informatics college. When you say informatics college, tinatanong, saan kaya yung informatics college na yan? Informatics college is located, tapat lang na siya ng Eastwood City. So, the, yun ang tapat ngay Eastwood City. Yun ang informatic college. Yun, tapat lang niya ang Eastwood City. And, maganda ba doon? Oo, maganda doon. For budgeted students also. Like, isa po, for um, mga, dito, class C, parang, pero, maganda na rin siya for class B. For me, ha? Kasi, nakapag, Iquire ako sa informatic college and I should study a short course doon. Pero maganda ang informatic college. Ang course pala nila dito is Bachelor of Informa Science, Information Technology, major in Multimedia Arts or Digital Arts. Yun ang pagkakaalam ko. So, ang pagkakaaralan nyo doon is Digital Art, Photoshop, Illustrator, mga ganon. So, yun ang pagkakaaralan doon. For budgeted students ito for informatics college. So, next is MIN. Oh my God! I love this! I love this school! Mint, Mint, Mint. Mint is one of the best in pass in the in the Met NCR, and the facilities are so great. Promise pa uh, ano yun do dito? Um, eto, alam ni classroom type nila. Uupu ka dun sa ano dun sa chair na malambot tas pakikinig ka sa teacher mo tas pupunta ka sa max so before nung nag-inquire pa ako nasa tagig pa sila and ngayon the school multimedia art school is not in tagig anymore it's senior high school na nang natira doon so lumipat tayo sila sa Tiendesitas Pasig sa tapat lang talaga ng Tiendesitas tong multimedia art school and atong school na to is talagang they have Tawag dito, they have floors na, not like before, one floor lang, or yun. They have two floors, three floors. I'm not sure with the, ano, kasi I haven't been there yet. Pero na, nakalab, nandun lang ako sa labas before. <laughs> Hindi pa ako nakapasok, di ba? So, Mint College is one of the great. Magagaling yung mga prof nila kasi ang hindi naman nila ina-aim yung mga masteral na, na teacher doon eh. Ang ina-aim nila yung great sa industry talaga hindi nila ini-aim yung mga masters yung nakapagtapat na masters di ba hindi naman nila ini-aim yun as a teaching as a school they aim that di mga magagaling talaga na artists magagaling na graphic designers they aim na yun ang magtuturo sa mga students yung mga best of the best talaga na na, na multimedia arts na school, di ba? Yun ang ini-aim nila. They don't need the degree. They need what the professionalism of a teacher. Yun ang magaganda sa kanila. And next is, doon naman tayo sa Manila. Tara, travel naman tayo sa Manila. So first, I will recommend you the FEU Tech in Manila. You know what's FEU Tech? Far Eastern University Technology. So it was located in in um, in, what do you call that? I forgot. <laughs> in, 
Eh, tapat na siya. FEU, sorry. Um, what you want that? Anyway, wag na natin ano. So, yun. Sa FEU Tech. So, yung maganda na may FEU Tech kasi ang da laki ng building nila. Ang laki ng school nila. Yung technologies nila. Um, yun. So, malalaki talaga yung technologies nila. So, yung school nila pa nila. Sorry. Tapos yung technologies nila. Dati kasi, they have the course BS Information Technology Major in Digital Arts. Na yun, bina, like, meron na sila dalawang course. BS Information Technology Major. And now, they created a new course last 2020, which is the Multimedia Arts course. AB Multimedia Arts course. I mean, it's BS. I'm not sure kung BS or AB. So, yun, Multimedia Arts course. So, the tuition there I acquired is 60k percent. So, pwede na rin, di ba? As a student, pwede na rin. So, FEU, FEU Tech is... Yun. Maganda na yun school sa FEU Tech. And yun. So next is one of the best schools, multimedia schools in the Philippines. The CSB or the La Salle, of, the La Salle College of St. Benio. So ito, ito talaga di CSB Supremacy. <laughs> Dari joke na, CSB Supremacy. Kasi magaganda yung facilities niya. Ang laki ng building niya daw. Sabi ko, nangarap ako doon. Sabi ko, school... And arts build, your arts building na nagarap talaga ako doon eh. Pero kasi, oh, I, I'm out of the budget kasi hindi ako simple tao lang ako. Kaya, ayun, so hindi ako nakapag-aral doon. So, CSB is one of the best in multimedia arts since 2010. Nagsimula sila 2010. Kaya one of the, ano talaga, one of the best courses is CSB. Kasi, ang dami nilang major maliba sa multimedia arts. Multimedia arts sa kanila, it's blending of animation, photography, film, and uh, what you call it? Animation, photography, film. Ayun, blending and the arts and the graphic design too. Yun, yun ang paghalo nila. G ginawa nilang all-in-one. Di ba sa CSP, hiwalay-hiwalay yun. Hiwala, hiwala. Pero ginawa nilang all-in-one yun. Yun, sa tatlong courses na yun, hinalo na sa multimedia arts. Yun, kasi yun, animation. Kasi sarili major wala animation. Sarili major wala yung photography. Sarili uh, course wala yun, ano, yung film. So dito, yung film, animation, and, and what you call that? Film, animation, and photography. Hinalo na rin sa multimedia arts, which is four years. So yun ang Ibsumit CSB. One of the best big sky burial. Yun. So yun, ang tuition fee doon, four now. For now, pandemic is 60 to 70 thousand percent. Tricep pala sila. Tricep. So, if you take this tricep, both triceps. Then, na, it's nine, for regular, kung face-to-face na tayo, 80 to 90 thousand ang tuition fee nila. 80 thousand ang pinakasal, pinakamura. So, next is the Lyceum Philippines. So, yan. So, the Lyceum Philippines is in the Philippines. A joke lang. It's in Manila. Tapat lang siya ng Mapua. The diba? Lyceo Philippines, tapat lang siya ng Mapua. So, the Lyceo Philippines is, if you're budgeted to, you can go to Lyceo. Mag maganda sa Lyceo, promise. Yung mga, actually, kung hindi, or, hindi pa ako nakapag-senior high, dun sana ako magsi-senior high. Kaso, dun lang yung unang talaga inenrollan ko sa Lyceo. Kaso, kaya ako napunta sa school, sa, pangal sa school ko ng senior high school, kasi wala na... <coughs> What you call this? Well, hindi pa umabot. Hindi kami umabot ng 25 slots. So, hindi tayo kami makakapag-start ng course. So, hindi actually, ang kung nakapag-25 slots kami sa Lyceo, mga nakapag-graduate. Pero, wala eh. Hindi kami umabot ng arts and design ng 25 slots. So, maganda. Tapos, yung multimedia arts nila. So, ang re re required na lang nila na, ano, na strand is yums. So, imbis na arts and design, yums na lang. So, maganda din siya like si yung one of the ano talaga. Then, next is the magaganda talaga mga designs na no, like si yung nakikita ko sa, sa Upwork, if you know that. Next is the Mapua. Ayun! Second best school for me is Mapua. Kaso, um, yun. So, maganda ang facilities ito Mapua kasi ano, may masters pa sila na Mapua. Masters kung sawa ka na at <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, nauubo ako. Pagod lang talaga sa buhay. Yun, so, Mapua is, yun tao dito, mayroon sila masters. Kung gusto mo pa mag-aaral, ay, nakapag-graduate na ako ng bachelor sa MMA. Gusto ko naman mag-masters. Mapua. Mapua lang is isa. So, Mapua 
is one of the best schools na lang nakapag-launch ng multimedia arts. Marami sila students sa multimedia arts. And, ano talaga, ang problema lang dito, kung ano kan, cons na ito, irregularity. Yun, marami silang irregular students. So, medyo matatagal ang makapkapa, like graduate. Pero, yun iba, sakto makapag-graduate. So, next is the... So, maganda ang mapuha sa akin. Maganda ang mapuha. Maganda turo nila. Promise. So, punta naman tayo sa Kaloocan. Di ba? So, isa lang ang school na meron sa Kaloocan, is, which is the UE Kaloocan. It's tuition is 43,000 per sem. Ang tuition fee ng UE Kaloocan. So, yun. So, UE Kaloocan is 43,000 per sem. Ang tuition fee na to. And, nakalunch lang na to noong 2020. Nung school year 2020 to 2021. So, kakalunch lang last. This first nila to. First, first, ano nila to? First, first two dates nila is this year talaga. So, the 2020 to 2021. Then, next is the Las Piñas. So, mama, diba? We're going to head to the south. Okay. So, oh, Mandalu yung papala yun. Mandalu yun. We have one school in Mandalu yung talaga. That is really helps. So, one school is GK College of Business. Yun, GK College of Business. And the major course is Bachelor of Multimedia Arts, Major in Film and Video. So, itong GK, nakapunta na ako doon mismo. And nakapag-aral ako doon. Magagaling mga prof nila. Pero hindi ako nakaaral doon as Multimedia Arts. Ay, doon, kasama lang, member lang ako ng, ng ano nila, Fine Arts, ano nila, Fine Arts Group nila. Which is yun, I forgot. And... Nandun, nakausip po ni si Darren Robles. Tapos, shoutout pala sa'yo, Mr. Darren. Miss or Mr. Darren Robles. Dahil napakaganda lang ang GK College of, Bus College of Business. Magaganda ba staff, mababait, at matutulungin pa sa'yo. So, yun. So, sa Mandalo, yun ang GK College of Business. Yun ang ano. So, proceed naman tayo sa mga South. So, next is the Las Piñas. So, University of Perpetual Health. So, dito mura lang. Kasi if you're taga South, you're Alabang, Paranaque, man, yun. I recommend you to you University of Perpetual. Lahat naman na Southers, alam naman yun. University of Perpetual Health. Yun. So, ang tuition pala sa University of... Balik tayo sa University of Perpetual Health. Ang tuition piece sa University of Perpetual Health is 30K per sem. Diba? Diba? Yun ang ano, yun ang pagkaka-research ko. And I'm not sure kung tumaas pa yun. So next is Southville International School. So ito talaga, dito talaga ng Alison Liza Sobrano, Eric e. Hill, Mika De La Cruz. And pang, pang medyo kamahalan lang talaga dito. Pero maganda yung multimedia arts course nila. Nakikita ko sa picture talaga. Siya, picture magaganda talaga ang mga estudyante nila, yung forma nila, at Magaganda din ang school nila. Maganda yung school na to, Southville. And it costs 200,000 pesos per year. Ay, wait. Yeah, per year. I think so. 200,000. Ano. If homeschool ka pa, hindi, example, I, this is not related to multimedia arts na. Like, life says, it's 300,000 pesos per year. Oh my God. Ugulat ka if you're, you're a homeschooler. And next is the Mountain Lupa. So, next is the FEU Alabang, which is 60,000 per sem. Ang FEU Alabang. So, if taga Alabangers ka, Uh, like film fans, alam mo na, dito ko sa FEU Alabang, ito na yung pinakamalapit na university na meron, FEU Alabang. So, next is Tagig. So, Tagig is, we have one school there, uh, kapag offer na pala ng bagong multimedia arts, we have, they have limited students pala. Ang maganda pa dito is online class. You can, you can choose to online, blend, online, wait, blended, or, or blended online or on campus. You can choose here. Kasi ang maganda din sa Trestor College, ano talaga, you can choose like homeschool or blended or on campus. So, dito sa Trestor College, like, pwede ka sa bahay lang, mag-aaya ka lang sa bahay, then yun. So, dito sa Trestor College, 100,000 per sem ang pagkakaalam ko dito. Kasi, da dapat ka talaga dito ang araw ng senior high school. Kasi, Nakaalanganin na ako sa buhay ko. Kaya dito na ako magta-transfer sana. Pero, um, maganda na dito sa 100,000 pesos. Stress ng college, which is their new course, Multimedia Arts. 
So, yes! Tapos na tayo sa bukong NCR. So, if you, ano talaga, if you want to know about, the, you can post this video muna and talaga like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for, ano, for, for, kung gusto nyo malaman yung mga taga-probinsya na, eto na yun. So, unahin natin ang North, North. So, ang unahin natin mga North, so Pampanga, sa Pampanga meron Angeles University Foundation. So, dito sa Angeles University Foundation, this, ito, yung, ito yung pwede makaaral dito, anyone in the North. Pero kung taga, ano ka, taga Tarlac, ito yung mga malalapit na bayan, Bulacan, ito yung nearest nyong, ano, tawag dito, school. Sa Angeles University of Foundation. Maganda naman tong ano, si, dito nang aral si Justin Dizon. Pa-shoutout naman kay Justin Dizon, yung PBB natin na celebrity. Pero political science yata siya or communication, I'm not sure. Pero dito, mayroon sila multimedia art school, ba diba? Sa multimedia art school sa Pampanga. Next is, pupunta tayo sa Bulacan. So, Bulacan, mayroon sila isang school Pero hindi siya university na, it's a college. So, it's called College of St. Anthony. So, yun ang meron sa Bulacan na multimedia arts na school. Meron sa College of St. Anthony. Next is sa Cagayan. Then, sa Cagayan, it's meron sa Cagayan State University. And for Cagayanios or whatever, kung near ka sa Cagayan, it's free. Kasi it's mo, if you get a multimedia arts course and you study Cagayan State University, it's free. Yun ang ano, it's free talaga. So, if, example, taga Isabela ka at gusto mo sa Cagayan mag-aral, then it's free pa rin, ba diba? So, next is, punta na tayo sa Southern Luzon. So, first, unahin natin yung Cavite. Kaya yun yung pinakamalapit sa Metro Manila. So, first is the Lyceum Cavite. So, alam, di ba kanina, alam nyo yung Lyceum, Lyceum Manila. So, eto naman Lyceum Cavite. So, oh, maganda na may facilities. Maganda, kasi maraming kakalala sa Lyceum Cavite. Oh, by online lang, by graphic group. Dito sila nag-aral for multimedia at magagaling tala sila gumawa. So, next is St. Dominic College of Asia. So yon sa Bako or um this is located Bako for this is for Imus taga Imus or taga what do you call this taga Montelupa or taga Las Piñas ka o malapit ka dito this is the nearest one of the nearest schools talaga si Dominic College of Asia and lastly one of the best schools in the, in the whole Cavite is the La Salle University Des Marinas so, bakit one of the best course? So, dahil matagal na sa like course na to. Marami na ako since 2007, 2006, 2008. Hindi, wala pa multimedia arts. Hindi pa tawag multimedia arts. It's called graphic and media yata or graphic and design. Yun pala. Dito na sila nagsimula sa Dresal University des Marines. Matagal na tong course na to sa kanila. 2008 pa lang, 2009, meron na tong course na to. Like, not multimedia arts, but it's graphic. Pero na yung pinalitan nila for multimedia arts at matagal na yung mga prof nila dito. So, maganda na rin dito sa Dela Sal. Like, nakaka na nila yung multimedia arts dito sa Dela Sal University das Marinas. So, one of the best course talaga tong Dela Sal University das Marinas sa Cavite. Dahil matagal na talaga yung course nila dito. Anyway, next is, punta naman tayo sa Laguna. So next is the National University Laguna. What I said is it's also owned by SM Partner Schools of SM. So sila mga partner Asia Pacific College and you kana karon na National University Laguna kasi partner schools sila. At nakikita ko naman sa mga Facebook page nila sa Enyo Laguna is magaganda yon anila yon mga graphics na ginamit, After Effects, Premiere Pro at yung poster nila gagaling din na gumawa parang Ano talaga eh, tawag dito, mga graphic artist na talaga sila. And magagan, magaling talaga sila. And next is Malayan Colleges Laguna. So, this is also owned by Mapua. It's a Mapua school, Malayan Colleges Laguna. It, it's also Mapua school. At magaling din sila. So, thumbs up for them. So, next is Lyceum Laguna. So, as you can see, it's okay na rin. So, maganda na rin at Lyceum Laguna. So, next is for Batangas. 
or Batangas. This is a private university. The first is University of Batangas. So, University of Batangas is a private university of Batangas located in Batangas City. So, kung gusto niya na punta media arts, so medyo mura lang ang tuition fee dito sa University of Batangas. Next is the Faith Colleges. First, Asia Institute of Technology Faith Colleges. Maganda rin ang multi media arts dito and it's located in Tarawan, Batangas. So, maganda na rin. One of the, ano ka rin. Pero hindi ko sila masyado nakikita sa mga competitions. Yan o. Sana soon magparamdam ka sila sa competitions para makalala pa sila. So next is Lyceum, oh, Lyceum Batangas. And maganda na rin to kasi Lyceum University owned by Lyceum. So one of the best. Next is De, De La Salle University. De La Salle, lipa. Oh, narinig ko to parate kabag multimedia arts. Kabag sinabi multimedia arts, De La Salle, lipa. Narinig ko to parate. And it's good, maganda ang school na to for nag uh, nasa parati sila na sa competitions, parati sila active, parati ka ba multimedia arts club, parati sila active sa mga, sa whole Philippines, I mean sa mga films, di ba, parati sila active. And kung magarang sa Batangas, this is one of the best schools in multimedia arts school si Batangas, di sa Lipa. So yun. So next is, we're going to Visayas na. So sa Visayas, meron din... Cebu Institute of Technology University. So, AB Multimedia Arts din naman yung course dito. So, maganda rin ang Cebu Institute of Technology University at magaling sila sa Multimedia Arts. Narinig ko sila sa mga Cebu, mga ganon. So, next is University of San Jose Regalitos. So, ito, hindi to Multimedia Arts. It is Bachelor of Science in Information Technology major in multimedia or animation. So, pipili ka doon multimedia or animation. So, this is the University of San Jose Recoletos. So, next is sa Mindanao naman tayo. So, first is the University of Mindanao. One of the best schools in Mindanao. Sa so, ako, nagsasabi sa'yo, parati ko to narinig. Parati ko narinig to kapag sa mga multimedia. Parati ko, uh, sa mga website, search mo ng multimedia arts Mindanao. Yun ang lalabas, University of Mindanao. Marami nag-aaral dito na artist din, multimedia artist. At kung taga Mindanao ka, maganda na tong school na to. I recommend you to go to University of Mindanao. Magagaling yung mga artist dito. At parati mo nakikita rin sa mga online works. Kasi sa LinkedIn, may ka-follow ako na yung taga University of Mindanao. Dito siya nag-aaral. At nakita ko mga works sa magagaling talaga. So next is Malayang Colleges of Mindanao. So this is also owned by Mapua School. So Malayang, alam niya naman sa Laguna, Malayang Colleges of Mindanao, same na sila. So, next is Norton Dame of Danangas University. So, ito hindi ko pa masyadong nakikilala to. Pero sa Jensen sila. Pero maganda na rin ang ano nila, yung multimedia arts. Pero sana taasan pa nila yung pagkakalaan nila sa university nila. And maganda na rin kung taka Jensen ka dahil, dahil malapit na sa inyo. Next is Lyceum Davao. So, Lyceum Davao. Wa, maganda tong school na to. And... I recommend it for you guys. So, Lyceum Davao. So, kung naka-reach ka na sa end, this is, these are the universities. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, ito yung top, top one ko sa mga multimedia art school. And, you know, and that's it for today. My name is Kat Daya. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye!